because 25% of meningitis survivors risk developing epilepsy. At a ceremony to mark World Epilepsy Day in Accra, epileptologist Dr. Patrick A.J. explained epileptic seizures may result from bacterial toxins seeping into the brain after treatment. Epilepsy, a common neurological disorder, affects people of all ages. It is characterized by recurring seizures that affects the electrical activity of the brain. The disease presents itself in three forms, focal, generalized, and pines. Approximately 50 million people globally have epilepsy, of which 80% are in the less developed countries. As of 2013, the country's epilepsy prevalence rate stood at 10%. Marking the day in Ghana, an epileptologist, Dr. Patrick E.J., revealed 25% of meningitis survivors stand the risk of developing epilepsy and other health conditions. In persons that get meningitis, they can get uh, some of the infection seeping into the brain substance itself. And that seepage into the brain substance can cause scarring on the brain. And... As we, we rightly said, the brain generates electrical activity. So any area of a scar behaves like uh, a, a point for short circuiting. And that area of short circuit is what will lead to the seizure. So that is just how simple. Having surviving meningitis can lead to uh, 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 seizures and epilepsy in future. However, recent studies in both low- and middle-income countries have shown that up to 70% of the cases can be treated. So we have over 25 drugs available to treat epilepsy. Persons with epilepsy are just like any one of us here. Chief Executive Officer of the Mental Health Authority, Dr. Akwesiose, noted although the disease is a neurological disorder, it may manifest as a mental condition. The manifestation of epilepsy may present as a mental illness. The other thing is that it is equally true that the very thing that causes epilepsy may also cause a mental disorder. For instance, somebody has a tumor in the brain. That tumor can manifest as a mental disorder and also manifest as epilepsy. He also called for more awareness creation to demystify the disease, reduce stigmatization and discrimination.